This video will briefly discuss what the comparison of the reaction quotient and the equilibrium constant implies for the spontaneity of a chemical reaction. So we know that our Gibbs energy change of reaction is equal to the standard Gibbs energy of reaction plus the gas constant times the temperature times the natural log of the reaction quotient where we get the reaction quotient from the uh, pressures and the stoichiometric coefficients of our reactants and products as we've been discussing all throughout this chapter. So we know that the standard Gibbs energy of reaction is equal to minus gas constant times temperature times the natural log of the equilibrium constant K. So substituting that in we have that the, stand, the Gibbs energy of reaction equals minus RT log K plus RT log Q. But if I have if I have the natural log of A, or sorry, if we have sorry, minus RT log K, if I have minus log of X, that's equal to plus log of 1 over X. So this is plus RT log 1 over K. And then if I have A log X plus B log well, if I have A log X plus A log Y, that's equal to A log X times Y. So I can combine these two. I have that the Gibbs energy of reaction is equal to gas constant times temperature times natural log of the reaction quotient divided by the equilibrium constant. So we'll remember that for processes that occur at constant temperature and pressure, the Gibbs energy must be negative or zero in order for a process to be spontaneous. It must be less than or equal to zero during any process that doesn't require an input of energy to occur. So if we look at this here, if we have a Q which is greater than K, so if our Q is greater than K, then we have the natural log of a number which is greater than one, which is a positive number. R and T are both going to be positive numbers as well. So if our reaction quotient is greater than K, that means that our Gibbs energy of reaction is positive. This means that our reaction is not spontaneous, but if we reverse the reaction, we do the reaction in reverse, the Gibbs energy of reaction is the negative of our forward reaction. So if we have a reaction quotient which is greater than our equilibrium constant, then our reaction is spontaneous in the reverse direction. Similarly, if we have a a reaction quotient which is less than the equilibrium constant. If Q is less than K, then we have a number here which is less than one. Natural log of a number which is less than one is going to be negative. Negative times positive times positive gives me a negative for my delta G of reaction. So if we have the reaction quotient below the equilibrium constant, we are going to have a reaction which is spontaneous in the forward direction. All right, then our final case, if we have a reaction quotient which equals the equilibrium constant, then Q equals K, we have K over K, which is equal to one. The natural log of one is zero. Zero times anything is zero. So our Gibbs energy of reaction is equal to zero. And that is the definition of equilibrium where the Gibbs energy change during a process is zero. So if we are at the equilibrium constant with our reaction quotient, and then our reaction is at equilibrium and it will not proceed spontaneously in either the forward or the reverse direction.